Most people assume that if you want to manifest wealth, all you need to do is sit there and prey on this idea of wealth and abundance and money is going to fall into your laps. But that's one big lie. If you really want to manifest wealth, I want you to understand this. There are two parts to really understanding money. Number one is the practical side, which is down here. And number two is what I like to call the emotional side of money, which is up here. See, when I got started in this financial education game, I used to think that money was just a numbers thing. That if you understood spending and you understood saving and you understood investing, you have the tools to become successful financially and become wealthy. It's understanding that the actions you take are going to have different outcomes. If you make good financial actions, you save money, you live below your means, you invest this money, you are going to achieve wealth. That's what made sense. But as I continued working in this financial education space, I started to realize that it goes even deeper than that. It goes into this, what I like to call emotional side of money, which is understanding how your thoughts play an impact on the actions that you take and how your subconscious plays an impact on your thoughts as well. And this is where now some people in this manifestation of money side of things focus here that if you change the way you think, you're going to change what you get which is partially true, but you're skipping a step here on the actions. And this is where now, if you really want to manifest wealth, if you really want to attract money, you have to understand this entire process, how the way you think is impacted by your subconscious, how the way you think is going to impact your actions and how your actions impact your outcome. This is a holistic view of really how you can attract money, how you can manifest money. And it's not just sitting there and praying on this idea of money, please come and enter my life. So let's back up a little bit and really understand now how you can understand this. That way you can start manifesting more money the right way. If you've ever watched any of my videos, you've probably heard me say something along the lines of all success starts with your mindset. And the reason why that matters is because you can know everything about investing. You can know everything about saving. You can know everything about how to earn more money. But if you believe that you cannot become successful, if you believe that you cannot become wealthy, if you believe that somebody in your situation is going to be stuck for the rest of your life, it does not matter what financial education you have. It does not matter how much you know. You're never going to actually become successful because you have this roadblock right there, which is your mindset. And your mindset is very powerful because your thoughts here are going to impact your actions and these actions are then going to impact your outcome. And this is where now many people are start to talk about how you need to change the way that you think. Because now if you can stop giving yourself this negative talk, well then you can start achieving different actions which can give you different outcomes. And that's the start. But there's something a little bit deeper than your thoughts that I want you to understand as well, which goes into your subconscious. Some people like to call this your pre-thought where you might know that you can't become wealthy. But if you start watching the self-development education on the internet and you say, oh, if I start saying and I start thinking I can become wealthy, then I'll become wealthy. Even though deep down, you still believe that you can't become wealthy. You're just trying to talk to yourself and say, you know what? I'm going to ignore my subconscious thoughts. I'm going to ignore my pre-thoughts. And I'm just going to say and think that I'm going to become wealthy. See, these thoughts are lying to yourself. This is where now you really need to change your subconscious thoughts to really change your thoughts because that's what's going to really allow you to understand and manifest money, manifest this outcome because you're really getting deeper into here. And the way that you do that is you kind of work to rewire the way that you think. Now, changing the way that you talk is one way to do that, but it goes even deeper into that personal development and the self-development and changing the way that you look at the world, the way that you look at abundance, the way that you look at wealth, the way that you look at success and understanding that it is possible for you. And so in order to change the way you think, you can't just change the words that you say, you really have to change the way you think and this takes real self-development real personal development and I don't care what type of background you have everybody needs some sort of personal and self-development in their lives and you might think it's a whole bunch of weird stupid stuff listen go out and just read a couple personal development books out there if you feel like you already got it that you know what I already have a positive attitude I already got a growth attitude great now you move on to here but some people some of you are gonna need more than that but this is where you got to understand that you have to understand this. If you do not have these positive growth mindset, abundance thoughts, you'll never be able to get this. Now, some people stop right here. They go into this whole idea of manifestation that all I need to do is hypnotize myself that I'm going to become wealthy. I just got to believe that I'm going to become wealthy. I'm just going to sit here and pray on this idea that I can become wealthy and I'm all good. 
because I believe in this idea of abundance and manifestation, but you completely ignore the practical side of money, which is how do you actually get the money? See, there's a balance between understanding the emotional side of money and the practical side of money. You have to understand the emotional side of money if you want to become wealthy, that way you can actually take advantage of the practical side of money. See, this is the financial education. This is now what do you do with your money? This is now where do you invest your money? This is now understanding how do you spend your money? This is now understanding how you can earn more money that we can get a better outcome. But you can never get this outcome if you're sitting here beating yourself up, if you're sitting here worrying about what other people are going to think, if you're sitting here always beating yourself up to somebody like you cannot become wealthy. And that's where you have to understand this emotional side of money as well. So if you want to understand this, invest in your self-development, invest in your personal development, go out and watch podcasts on there. There's a bunch of great podcasts, a bunch of great pieces of content out there for free on your personal and self-development. That way you can change the way you think, the way you can rewire your brain, that way you can get rid of these negative thoughts. That way you believe that you actually believe, not just you're telling yourself, but you actually subconsciously believe and know that you're going to become successful and you're going to do whatever it takes. And if you don't think that's enough, go out and read some books, get some coaching programs, do whatever you got to do to change the way you think. I cannot emphasize how important this is because I have have met with so many people across the world now on this financial education journey and I have learned this firsthand that if you do not have this, this by itself is not enough to actually give you the full financial success that you're looking for. Once you got this, this is where now you invest in this, your financial education of how you can change your actions so you can get better outcomes. Now this is all about understanding what's going on in the markets. How do you invest your money? Now, this is where, if you haven't joined Market Briefs yet, Market Briefs is a free financial newsletter that my team created to keep you up to date with what's happening in things like the economy, the housing market, the stock market, the crypto market, and the global economy. You can read Market Briefs in less than five minutes every morning, and it's completely free. So if you haven't joined Market Briefs yet, I got the link to how you can join Market Briefs down in the description below, or you can go to briefs.co slash market, that we can start getting your Market Briefs for free. But now the question is, once you understand this, what do you actually do to emphasize and grow this outcome? What do you do to amplify your wealth? Well, that's where you keep focusing on this because there's a limit to how far your thoughts can take you. But this is where now understanding that you have to think big enough that way you can take bigger actions. The thing that separates somebody who goes from zero to $100,000 to somebody who goes from $100,000 to a million dollars to somebody who goes to $10 million is how big you're willing to think. Because many times we create our own ceilings. There's a lot of money in the world. And I think it's sometimes really hard for us to fathom how much money is really out there. But our central banks, the Federal Reserve Bank, is printing money every single second. Our economy is flooded with more and more dollars. There's people with more money than you can imagine out there. And so, yes, it is very possible for you to take your annual salary. If you're making $50,000 a year, guess what? You can take this $50,000 a year and you could turn this into your monthly salary, which means you could make $50,000 a month. And now this might seem absurd, but it is possible. But you can also take that and turn it into $50,000 a week. Might seem absurd, but it's also possible to turn this into $50,000 a day. Now the question is, how much action are you willing to do to actually make that possible? But in order to actually take these actions, you have to believe this is possible. Now I know from experience that it can be very hard, depending on where you are, to actually believe that something like this is even possible. Because growing up for me, I remember thinking $100,000, if I can make $100,000 in a year, that would be like the most amount of money imaginable. $100,000 a year and I'm gonna be living high and doing whatever I want with my money. And then I hit that $100,000 a year. And I realized, oh wow, if I did this, what's really possible? And I also realized that $100,000 a year wasn't really enough to give me anything close to the lifestyle that I was dreaming about. Then I got to the $100,000 a month. And I realized, holy moly, I never thought that I could turn that amount of money into a monthly income. And again, I'm making $100,000 a month and I realized, this isn't as much as I thought it was going to be. So if you really want to start scaling your income, if you really want to start manifesting this wealth, it's not about you just thinking about wealth and sitting there and manifesting it into your lap without doing anything. It's understanding that you can become wealthy and actually deeply understanding that it is possible for you. It's changing the way that you actually think, not just the way you talk to yourself, but the way you actually think, changing your subconscious thoughts, which takes real work for most of us out there. 
Then, once you got this, it gets into the financial education of actually understanding how you put it to work. Now, you can invest in this through your YouTube videos, through your podcast, then through books, then through coaching, then through actually doing it. But this is where you got to be willing to keep putting in the work, putting in the hustle, making in the sacrifice, taking the education. That way now you can actually see that success for yourself. But it starts with you understanding the emotional side of money and then the practical side of money, putting these together and putting in the work. And that's going to give you an unstoppable force to actually really manifest that wealth for yourself. Immediately, I can guarantee you're gonna look at this and say, holy moly, I cannot believe how much money you spent at Lululemon, at Benihana, at Amazon, or wherever. And that's gonna make you wanna start making some changes. It's hard to do this, but you gotta do this if you really wanna start building that wealth and stop worrying about money. The fourth thing you gotta do now is you need to start creating a system for your money. Because what most people do is they make 